Natalie, Big Sky Player of the Week. What were your first thoughts when you found out that you would receive the honor? Oh, I don't know. I was really excited. I feel like it was just such a crazy week. Honestly, like we went from quarantine, just like being lucky enough to like playing games and everybody was just so excited for that to happen. I just like honestly feel like super lucky about like even playing games. So yeah, I'm over the moon about it. I mean, what a great way to start off the season. You had, uh, you know, opening weekend sweep of Sacramento State. You talk about being so happy to play. What kind of momentum does this give you heading into the rest of the season? Yeah, I think a lot of momentum. I think, you know, we had a few games canceled and that was like tough. So I think just like having the focus of not taking any games for granted because you you really don't know what you're going to get or not. So I just think that we just need to go into every game with a really focused mindset and working as hard as we can. Yeah, absolutely. Now, your 19 rebounds on Saturday set a Memorial Gym record and you're now tied for ninth most rebounds by a Vandal in a single game. What was it that allowed you to be so dominant? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even like know that I was up there until like the end of the game. Like I, I didn't even like until I saw it after I just felt like it was like any other game, but I just feel like rebounding's always been like my focus. It's, it's always been like my role, honestly. So like, if I'm not rebounding, I'm not getting my job done. So. Now you talk about your role. You're a senior now in terms of a leadership perspective, how have you seen your role evolve on this team leading up till now? Yeah, I've definitely started to like take a bigger leadership role. And I think just like trying to step into like Lizzie and Izzy's shoes from last year has been like different for me because I feel like I'm not like a super uh, confrontational person. (laughs) So it's definitely been different for me. But yeah, I've been taking more of a leadership role this year. Now you talk about Lizzie, your sister. Is it is it difficult playing without her this year? Yeah, it was tough coming back without her. Like I don't know. She was my best friend. She still is, but it's also like nice because I'm like so close with all of my teammates. So like, ultimately they're all like my sisters. So that makes it a lot better to like make that transition, not playing with her again. What is it about your team that makes it such a sisterhood? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. We cannot stay away from each other. I swear. We're just like all so close. I feel like we all have the same sense of humor. So that's awesome. Now, After making the conference championship game last season and not being able to see that through, you know, we talk about momentum. Do you feel that you have any extra momentum because of that or any extra motivation, uh, you know, by having that unfinished business? Yeah, definitely. And like, I feel like in our pregame huddles, I would like to to tell the girls, like, we don't, we don't know when it's like, you know, if we're going to get shut down. So like we got to treat every game like it's our last. And I feel like it just like makes every game like so much more valuable. Like, and I feel like we definitely like feel like we have something. I mean, we're like confident in ourselves, but like we feel like we have something to prove to the rest of the conference. So like we deserve that. So. Well, you all are off to a great start. So that is wonderful. Natalie, it's wonderful to speak with you and your humility is so amazing in the midst of this awesome achievement. So congratulations again. And thanks for your time today. Thank you so much.